Hey, what's up guys, George. And, uh, and in this video, I wanna share some of my favorite natural highs. So uh, one of my uh, uh, favorite natural highs is that of the, the runner's high. And really what a runner's high is, I just got done running laps um, here in Tallahassee and uh, just got done running laps all up and down hills. And, uh, uh, and it was interesting because um, uh, and I'm not used to this, this dimension of hills uh, back where I live. And, um, and after about the first lap, um, I felt exhausted and, and I was feeling some pains in my legs that I'm not used to feeling because I'm not used to these hills. But uh, I knew I had to keep going more, doing more laps so that I would get that runner's high. What happens is you hit a tipping point where you experience the runner's high, which is essentially just a concoction of brain chemicals being released, essentially endorphins. And so finally, after a while, usually around the 18 minute mark is when it hits, uh, I felt it. <laughs> it was like the pain had gone away, the numbness, it was like I was becoming numb to the pain, and I just felt this incredible high. That, And I just felt like thinking like, gosh, I wish everybody on this channel could experience this. Maybe you have, maybe you've forgotten about this sensation, but uh, um, it's it's incredible. And maybe you guys have just done short runs, but uh, um, I encourage you to go the distance and to go longer than you're used to because that's when the real benefit, that's when the real powerful runner's high comes out. And that's one of the things that I love about physical exercise is that it brings you to a different realm, a different dimension that, uh, um, uh, is beyond what most people can uh, can comprehend and a lot of people are tapping into this now But doing 100 mile races 200 mile races, which someday I would actually like to do something like that um, I think that that would be awesome to, uh, Because the mind rules all the mind rules all and you don't burn out physically you burn out mentally That may take you years to understand that and comprehend that because you like, what are you talking about? Of course you burn out physically first, you know, you're probably thinking you go running, you get tired, so you gotta stop. You know, it's a physical thing, physical training, no. It's mental, you burn out mentally first. If you don't believe me, research people like David Goggins, uh, a lot of other f famous ultra marathon runners, and, uh, and they'll attest to this, that it's, you burn out mentally first, not physically, and so it's the mental training that you're working on. So, the runner's high, number one. Number two, is uh is breathing exercises that's actually one of my personal favorites probably my personal favorites and uh i love the wim hof breathing regime what you do is you you breathe real deep and you keep going until you get lightheaded till you feel like you're going to pass out of course be sitting down in a safe space because you just may pass out if you're not used to it and you just keep going and doing it and at the very end you let out all your breath and hold it hold it as long as you can and then you breathe in hold it and what happens is you get freaking high. Best high in the world. It feels freaking incredible. And, uh, and I'll keep repeating this, this cycle uh, several times. And you just keep getting high as a kite. And it feels amazing. And it's, uh, it's called DMT meditation. Uh, what happens is it's your body, the, the blood alkalizing. And uh, a lot of magical things are happening. Your lungs are producing DMT, the spirit molecule, which is what makes you uh, go into psychedelic states from taking things like ayahuasca and things like that. But this is a natural. This is just from breathing. This is an ancient uh, yogic exercise. And uh, so that's number two. And then the third one is from fasting. Fasting, uh, um, that's another way to enter into a powerful kind of high. I like to refer to it as God mode. Uh, after I've done fast as long as 15 days, and what I'll notice is after a couple of days, usually around the four or five day mark, is something happens. Something just switches. And you enter into what I like to coin as God mode, where you just feel freaking incredible. And it just keeps getting better and better. Um, and quite often by the end of it, I've done several week uh, fast several times, by the end of it, you just feel high as a kite. I mean, you don't need any food. It's like, you're just, it's, and it's so amazing because you feel like you're bending the rules of reality because you're not supposed to be allowed to, uh, um, you know, exist having fasted for that long and, uh, um, you know, and, and still being, have the energy to exercise every day, run your businesses, feel incredibly happy, smiling, or other people exhausted and they just ate a couple of hours ago <laughs> and you haven't eaten in weeks. Um, and uh, they say fasting is one of the best ways to get uh, um, to develop a close connection to God because for some reason it just taps into that spiritual realm. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it at three. There are other other methods as well, but save that for another video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, let me know, leave a comment below and then I'll do another video going deeper into these kind of topics. But uh, guys, there's 
so much better highs up there than just smoking weed. Trust me, much better. I, I mean, these types of things make smoking weed seem like boring. So, um, hope you guys got some value from this. Until next time, make it a great day, a great week, a great month, a great year. Let's make it a great life. See ya.